we have in the budget the public and communal infrastructure innovation scheme which it is a scheme aimed at also empowering the youths of the Niger Delta and women. The whole idea is we thought we don't just want to spoon feed the youths and women and entrepreneurs in the region. Let us teach them how to work. Some of them may not have the funding and finances to fund projects worth 100 billion, worth 200 billion. So let us start with renovation. And those renovations, we are going to break it down in different categories to ensure that we carry along the least person. The least person, if we are going to renovate this building, one person will probably be renovating the roof, one person will be doing the tiling, one person will be doing the windows, one person will be doing the electrical works, so that these jobs can go around everybody. That is what we have in the budget. Public and communal infrastructure renovation scheme. Then, for entrepreneurs, just to tell you, last week, Thursday specifically, we had a meeting with the Bank of Industry to consummate our partnership. Because in the budget, we are making available 30 billion naira, which will be a counterpart funding with Bank of Industry to support entrepreneurs in the region. That is also there. So for those who are entrepreneurs in agriculture, different form of entrepreneurship, you are going to be funded. We have that 30 billion, which is going to be a counter counterpart funding between we and the Bank of Industry. That was why we came up with the Niger Delta Chamber of Commerce. So it is going to go through a process through the Niger Delta Chamber of Commerce so that anybody who is benefiting, you know it is not free money. It is money that you must also merit. You must also earn it. So gone are the days when people take money Portfolio businessmen take money, eat it, and think that it is free money. We want a situation whereby this money can also go around so that those who do not get this year can get next year.